Hi. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to 2022. We made it. This is my first video in 2022, guys. And like, I just want to exude a lot of positivity, like in this video. I just want to talk about all the possibilities we can reach, even though it feels so far away, it's not impossible. Mm -mm. Me, I don't believe in it. Like, nah, it's not possible. Not possible. Like, yo, God is not dead. <laughs> There's God. And um, everything under the sun is possible so far as God lives. So I believe that this year is going to be super amazing. I know there are going to be a lot of challenges. And I want to tell you this. I feel you have to hear... I don't even know when you're going to find this video, but listen, no matter when you're going to bump in this video, I know it's going to speak to you. Here we go. And I feel you should just give yourself the chance to, to happiness, to live. This year, 2022, don't live on people's validation. You don't need it. You don't need it. Okay. Did you hear me? I said, you don't need it. This year, pay good attention to yourself, to your health. Try and go to the hospital and run random checks. Go to the hospital and ask the doctor that, doctor, check me up to see if everything is okay. Do those um, ECG, do those beautiful scans, do those lab, the, the STDs, the STIs, the HIV, hepatitis, just run all these tests. Guys, you have to do this and sometimes you don't even know what is wrong with you until you do some of these things especially when you're having a bit of um, unusual headaches and cramps here and there you just need to go and check it up to make sure that it's not anything serious okay so this year cervical cancer should be on your list hepatitis hiv aids this year try check your kidneys and your liver just take care of yourself Put yourself first this year, okay? Make checking up on your health a matter of urgency. I think I've said that and you guys, I'm not even joking about it. Guys, please, at least twice a year, you, should, you are supposed to go to the hospital to do those like random check, check up, please, okay? Please, I do this and it's not even a lie. I'll show you results and proof in maybe another video, but it's something that I do all the time. So please take that from me it's very helpful that's how some people get sick and they don't even know until it gets so chronic when you are used to running these tests then eh? the very moment the issue or whatever thing starts at the very acute stage it's noticed and then you know you have been diagnosed and you are given drugs and then you're fine but when you are somebody who does not make it to the hospital because these days we are eating a lot of trash guys we're eating a lot of fertilizers and a lot of stuff in our in our food we don't even know and you're just there, you, you, you don't visit the hospital, like, yo. Another thing is your food. Check your food, guys. I know how a lot of you love to eat what you love to eat. Sometimes you go fufu, sometimes bangkun, sometimes hukunte, goben, all of that. But sometimes, can you please fruit it out? Just fruit it out, okay? Eat some fruit as well. Eat some fruits and vegetables, okay? put it somewhere like you know oh maybe on thursdays i'll eat fruit you get it and try exercising i'm not like somebody who exercises like morning to evening or like every day in a week but i'll not sit here and say that i don't exercise at all i do exercise so please try and find it somewhere like fix it somewhere in your routine to make it a habit to exercise every now and then okay cool okay and to your expenses hmm last year you were spending and you were doing all of like charlie this year cut some expenses or cut some things you don't have to impress anyone you don't have to prove anyone anything you are living your life okay so easy on your expenses don't live like outside your means don't try to you know you earn two thousand a month but when you sit down and check the expense like your expenditure you are about four thousand five hundred where from the extra two thousand five hundred you are owing people, you are borrowing money constantly, you are living lives, you are buying clothes that are expensive. You, you get to wear just one dress at a time. So why do you buy 10, 15 dresses and then you, you sometimes even end up not wearing any at all? Just for shaky reasons. Charlie, this year, try and cut some expenses, right? And you know what? Save that money. Save that extra coins. It doesn't matter whether it's two city, five city, ten cities. 
it doesn't actually matter save some money save some money okay save some money this year if you're looking forward to starting a business starting school starting a new job whatever you want to try youtube you want to start something something you love to do go all out and try it it's coming from me go all out and try it don't look at the numbers don't look at who's looking at you sometimes it get discouraging yes when, especially when you don't have anybody to motivate you but be your own hyper woman be your own hype man motivate yourself Tell yourself that, you know, I believe in myself and it's going to get a point where people are going to believe in me just as much as I believe in myself. Because listen, if you don't believe in yourself, ah, who should come and believe? Me? I should come and believe in you. Like, it doesn't work like that. You get it? Start doing what you love to do. Do it regardless, okay? Don't look at the numbers now. Just do what you love to do. Let me be serious. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to be serious. <laughs> be ready to fail. Yes, failure is part of us, right? I had F9 in mathematics. Can you imagine? But I, I don't feel... I don't feel bad talking about it. I actually, like, I was expecting it anyways. Failure is part of us. We cannot do without it. We may fail some one or two times, but does not mean we shouldn't try. You know what? Let me tell you something. I wanted to start YouTube about like some four or five years ago. And I had bought my camera and other stuff, my laptop and all of, all of that. And I kept those stuff for more than three years. And I got to a point, I'm like, listen, Nura, you can do this. You have to do it. You love to talk. What are you constantly running away from? I kept procrastinating all the time. Oh no, I'll do it. Oh, next year. Oh, next year, next year. Oh, next year. Before I could realize, I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm not going to run anymore. I am going to face my fears. I don't care about what people think or say about me. Listen, I am beautiful in my own eyes and that is enough. You get it? It's enough. Actually, it is. And 2021 in may i started youtube we are in january 2022 and i can barely barely boast of 100 subscribers but you know what i still love it that at least i tried i did it i made it <laughs> so i do not care at all the fact that i was able to face my fear the fact that i i i'm like you know what I looked into the face of fear and I told, you know what, I'm not afraid of you. I am going to do it. I am going to do this regardless, okay? You are not going to put me in a bottle and shut my dreams down. You are not going to do that. I'm not going to allow you to do that to me. And yes, I did it. And here I am. So if you're finding this video, I am challenging you, yes, you, to go out there and face your fears. You are bigger than it. And your instincts are right. You can do it. Okay, 2022, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, okay, are you feeling me, no wait, you feel me, you feel me, alright, let me just go on, in all things, in your marriage, in your relationship, in, in, at your workplace, in your family, in your community, everywhere you find yourself, try and think about yourself first be the first person that comes to mind when you're dealing with people okay so that way you don't treat people badly because now you're thinking about yourself you're thinking about how you want people to treat you how you would respond if that was done to you so in this state you are always looking out for yourself in a relationship you're looking out for yourself even though you love your partner you're looking out for yourself so if your partner messes up you speak about it once or twice and it's still the same thing you run away you 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 just run because at this point, you're looking out for yourself. Don't accept any bullshit. Like, don't accept any, you know, bullshit. In the name of love. Mm -mm. You don't need that. You deserve more than that. You deserve more than that. I'm telling you. Friendships have become very complicated these days. In 2021, we had a lot of stories. A lot of bad bestie stories and um she was my bestie and she ended up marrying my my guy and know the things you want to talk to friends about 
okay and keep shush about other things keep shush about other personal stuff that's why they are personal they are personal they're supposed to remain in your head let it remain in your head you don't owe anybody any explanation about how nice your guy is and how good he is in bed and how he takes care of you and how he gives you a lot of money girlfriend can you just shush can you just keep it can you can you just keep quiet can you just can you just keep quiet zip it can you just keep quiet don't say i didn't tell you don't say i didn't warn you as you're being careful of whom you are pouring our hearts out to let us also know that life is very short it's very short oh i saw a video on like I, was it yesterday i saw a video on the, like on the internet a lady who was traveling outside ghana i think she was going to uk and i think her name was nanajwa in a video i heard somebody saying nanajwa nanajwa i'm like yo i'm not I'm, no, I'm not nanajwa like but i'm a monday born I'm like oh and she's monday oh god save the soul but before i knew she was dead guys life is short live your bliss guys live your bliss but if i say live your bliss i'm not saying if you're drinking alcohol keep drinking alcohol okay think about your kidneys too much alcohol is not good for you and if that is the only thing that makes you happy then i mean it's very unfortunate very sad that alcohol or maybe you, you know the other thing is the only thing that makes you happy respect people's space and opinions okay respect people's choices respect people's decisions Re just respect people listen they've told you this is what i want just respect it it's as simple as that wish others will be happy for others when you hear that a friend or like you no know, a neighbor or somebody is just doing good be happy say mashallah say thank you lord thank you it's it's by the will of god that this person is doing good father make way for me just like you've made you've made way for um that person you know don't envy people don't envy be content with the little that you have be appreciative be grateful for how like for how far you are in your journey it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's one or you're on level two or level 10 and the person is on level 100 listen if you're making impact, I always tell people, listen, if you're making impact, hey, it doesn't matter if the impact you're making is on a thousand people, a billion, or it's just one person. An impact is an impact regardless the numbers, okay? So go out there and make some impact. Be happy for them. Clap for them. Oh, I see Messi at a car. Oh, we see dying. Be happy. What is there to envy? If you envy whatever the person has, is it going to become yours? No. So why are you envying? At the end of the day, you don't, you have no reason. You have no. She said, "And simhunu se obe we never will be cried yet." This is a very personal story. It's about a, a relative, but a very distant relative. She was telling me about her daughter and about how a friend took her to um, a juju man to kill her just because she told her friend that an uncle is making you know stuffs ready to take her abroad the friend came to the house and asked for um no 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 the friend saw a dress and was like hey this is your dress there i like it oh you can have it if you want it you can take it no knowing the girl was taking the dress to the juju man i think the dress and then she said a photo yes guys me i didn't know but i i went to the house one day and i saw the girl if you see her daughter she's not 30 she's not even no she's not 30 i don't think she's even 25 i'm not sure if you see the girl she looks like somebody in her 90s and the mom was even telling me said oh even now cry is better i'm like hey that is i'm not better than pony guys be careful okay people are not people anymore friends are not friends anymore there are a lot of envy and hate in people's hearts and it takes only god pray for people and make sure you're not telling people your every next move like you should have some kind of secret you should have some kind of power your secret is your power you should have some kind of power over your life don't spill it all out you can talk about certain things and and there are certain people they are friends okay and when you're telling them your problems they're like hmm 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 those people fear them they have problems and they are not telling you they are just listening to yours and they are not they're not even sharing any of their experiences or their what they are going through be careful of those people they just listen and they give you that hmm, feedback and they then post a brain and old brain old brain but you're just pouring your heart out me the last year they have learned to have learned papa hey me now it's just me and god wallahi 
Oh, I'm serious. Like, it's just me and God. It's your day. I can't believe me, nyame. Me? Mm -hmm. I'll not do it. Don't self-medicate, oh. Don't self-medicate. Hey, yeah, yeah. I know my drugstore. For sure, mommy, you do it. Don't self-medicate. If you're somebody who always likes to self-medicate, please. I feel giant. 2022, put a stop to it. I know a pharmacy in Swan Lake that when you go, they ask you why you're getting the drugs. If it's a prescription, let them see before they give you the drugs. They don't just get up and give you drugs because you want it and because they are selling. No, they will not give it to you. And I really feel their vibe because like, yo, they're thinking about your health. Okay. The last on my list is to never, ever, 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 ever forget god in every situation i don't know if you're whatever whether you're a believer or not there is somebody behind the fact that you're breathing okay you see that when you go to the hospital and you cannot breathe the doctor fixes an oxygen on you so so to make it possible for you to breathe now the doctor is behind that oxygen okay but this one you and i are having for free there's somebody behind it what do you believe that's a supernatural being or not i don't even know i don't want to go into that but i'm saying that there is somebody behind our existence let not forget that don't be blinded guys mm -mm. don't be and always pray to god he hears he listens he answers he answers he's a loving god and yeah i'm done for this video thanks for watching i'll see my next one this year grr, grr, grr. <laughs> a lot of energy grr. if this year someone chooses someone over you and the person tells you no i'm not feeling your vibes very compatible with this person choose yourself the person chose someone else so choose yourself this year do you be you grr, grr.